Taking wrinkles, taking this project seriously for the past two years, and thinking of music as art, it's been really natural to start thinking of myself as a musician and as an artist. And I feel like that's how it's been for all of us. It's come from a bunch of guys who wanted to jam together to a group of musicians trying earnestly to create something worthwhile. strong ties to Montana not only because it's this beautiful place where we've grown up but because of the amazing people here who've surrounded us as this project has progressed it's been pretty awesome our band's dynamic of being split between Missoula, Bozeman and Seattle and having it be like difficult to get together makes it makes it so that we have to like try and make it an event whenever we're having a show and that makes people, like, people are more into it. It's not just like a one-off thing. It's not like you can catch the wrinkles once every weekend. I feel like our shows are kind of like meeting points, like reunions, reunions yeah. almost. Yeah, like you get to see friends you haven't seen in six months or a year and I meet mean, new friends too, but it's like a, it's, it's a really fun time. so honest to come up with an idea and put it out there and have a total possibility for a total failure yeah. and people to just reject it and I think that's what's so appealing is that there's so much room for failure and that's like makes it all more worthwhile to do. That really drives like drives me to want to create more music and yeah. more emotions that they can connect with that anyone can connect with. And it's, yeah, it's really cool to have people behind your music that are like driving forces in why you make music, you know? I have this one liner that I, I always sketch in my notebook and it's like, wrinkles, here to remind you that we are not yet dead. And it's <laughs> kind of hilarious because it's like, in a lot of ways that's what it is, it's like, like what that's actually saying is like, we're fucking alive and this yeah. is awesome. Yeah. yeah. But it's also conveying that, you know, like life's also full of hardship and we're all gonna die and our families are all gonna die. But like in the most optimistic way, like this is what we got and we gotta do the coolest things we can do with it. Sitting here wondering what happened. 
Shut 